for the second time the President of the United States of America. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. This, you can't see it, but it's a welcome back to Providence St. Mel. Thank you very much. I'm most grateful. And uh, I'm not going to make another speech at you because I know that you've I've been told that you were hearing what I was saying down there in the other room. But I can't tell you how happy I am and how excited uh, to be back here where I was last May. Now I know that one class has left since then and another one has come in. So but most of you here uh, were probably here then at the same time and we had a chance for a visit and a question. Hey, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so you can see, I am excited. But what has taken place and what's going on here uh, is an inspiration, I think, to everyone that knows about it and what our job now is to make sure that more people in this country know about it and find out what can be done if you decide to make it be done which is what you've decided here. And I think you will agree with me. You've been very um, blessed in a way that we all know about, but you've been blessed in another way, and that is having Paul Adams here as your principal. But you, you just keep at it. And what you just recited here is, that's what has made this nation from the very beginning. We, we have a, a theory that was brand new that had never happened before in the world. A theory with regard to government, a theory with the right of individuals to fly as high and as far as their own initiative and ability would take them without being penalized for it. And yet at the same time, to keep an eye out for someone that needed a hand up because we were taught that also. And this is what you're doing here. And believe me, the opportunities out there are limitless for those that are learning as you are learning and who are determined to, to make a place for yourself in this nation and in this world. And uh, I am so re-inspired by coming here and seeing you again and seeing the progress that you've made. And I'm going to do what I can to spread the word. You know, being in the job I am, you, you get some complaints sometimes from people out in the country and some that have to do with education and just feel that the problems are so big for them and uh, they want to know if the government can't think of a way to help. Well, I think sometimes the government is the problem, not the answer. And. Uh, You've done it the other way. Maybe we should have a government program in which people who call in and want to know what they can do to solve some terrible problem in their education system is send them a round-trip ticket to Chicago and the address of Providence St. Mel and let them come here and find out. Unless some of our friends in the media think that that's all you do is keep your mind on the things you should, the studious things also. They're 15 and 2 in basketball this year. Right. <laughs> well, they tell me that I have to go. I've got some more meetings, but I can tell you that from here on they won't be nearly as exciting or as much fun as they've been here with you again. God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you.